Now, if you, you've been watching my videos for a while, you might know that I've had a very challenging journey with food cravings. Very, very intense and challenging and tough and... Yeah, just really tough. And I've always been very curious about the deeper things going on underneath the symptom of a food craving. We, we think that the food craving is the actual problem. The food craving and food addiction is the symptom. That's how at a surface level, whatever's going on underneath manifests. We know that by now. We know that. And I've always been very curious about what's going on. And I know that for me it's a lot of things. It's a lot of things. Sometimes when strong feelings come up, we stuff them down with food. If you visualize in your mind, like literally, like metaphorically, literally, like things coming up and we just stuff them down with food. How many of us do that? Just being honest with yourselves, uh, ourselves, but at the same time being gentle and compassionate. Because life is tough, okay? So it's okay if we want to stuff down some feelings every once in a while. That's okay. For me, it just became very often, and very intense for me. But I had a pretty cool experience today, which I'll share with you. But that's one of the things, when, when emotions come up and we try to stuff them down, when things that we need to look at in our lives, and we use food as a distraction. We crave sweets or salty, crunchy things and stuff, and sometimes it's a distraction if we're eating very often throughout the day. And I love, of course, I was talking to friends about this a long time ago, and we do need to look at cravings holistically. That means physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. So we can't ignore the physical aspect of food cravings. I, I, one of my good friends, he was really, really craving nuts in a specific time. I think it was macadamia or a specific one. I can't remember. It was a while ago. But he looked up which nutrients were high in those nuts because he was like a few different ones. And he started supplementing that nutrient and the craving went away. So we need to look at it holistically. But I know that underneath there's more going on. I know that for me when I've had holes in my life, I try to fill those holes up with foods. And we know that some people do it with alcohol, with drugs, with any kind of addictive behavior. Same thing, those things are just a band-aid for the actual thing going on. I don't want to call it a problem. The issue, the challenge, even issue is not, doesn't resonate that much, but the true challenge going on underneath is that little void somewhere in our lives. For some of us, it might be in our careers, we don't feel like we're fulfilling our purpose, we don't feel passionate about what we do, we don't feel like we're truly sharing and, and giving our gift to the world. And trust me, that is tough. I've been there so many times and I go through that so many times. When you feel like you have something to share through any medium, video, writing, podcasting, blogging, well I said writing, whatever kind of method you want to use, and your purpose doesn't need to be changing the world, whatever you're passionate about, whatever you want to contribute to the world, when we're holding that back, we're not, we're not doing that, That can be tough, so career is one, but oh, at the same time, even in cravings, when you think about health, when we have a lot of health challenges and nothing we do works, it's tiring. Trust me, I've been there and I'm going to start talking more about my challenges. But it's tough and you want to give up every once in a while and you get sick of trying so hard and never seeing results. So eventually we give in. Of course I want some fucking ice cream sometimes and chocolate and this and that and 
I, I do tend to go for the healthier options, but I, the amount for me is too much. So that might be out of balance. And of course in relationships, because how many of us, I don't care what we say on the outside, we want to find a beautiful, deep connection with another human being. Whoever that is, whether you like the opposite sex, the same sex, or whatever. I don't even know what other options are out there. But for me, I know that I want that. And when I'm feeling that sadness, that little bit of emptiness, like something's missing in my life, I tend to go for cravings more. And even though I know that intellectually, I can't stop it many times. Most of the time I just can't. I can't control it. It's like stronger than me, to be honest. And I'm going to make another video because I really want to open up and just share everything about this. It's been a tough one for me on my journey. Um, but what I realized today, I went to a really cool um, cafe, which I love. I'm not going to name any names. Delicious food, and I love it. But right now I'm doing a different kind of diet, different style. I'm doing a lot of healing. I'm doing a very strict kind of, but because I want to, I'm not forcing myself. Very different from the food that they had there. And I went with a, a girl that I really like. I really like her and we had a beautiful time, beautiful conversation, beautiful connection, beautiful connection. And we both really enjoy each other's company and whether it turns into something else or it doesn't, doesn't matter. It's that connection, that finding your little tribe, finding people that you resonate with, finding people that you enjoy spending time with, finding people that energize you, not people that drain you if you went for coffee with them. And at a deep level, I know that Russell Brand talks a lot about this, we want connection, we crave connection, we think we want drugs, alcohol, sex, and all kinds of things. But deep down we want connection and I agree with that. And it goes both ways, connection with ourselves, which we can do through anything, meditation or even art or whatever, whatever you'll know. I can't tell you what it is for you. You'll know what it is for you, how you connect with yourself. But it's also beautiful to have connection with other human beings. And it's funny how in the self-development journey, and you'll hear me say these a lot, maybe throughout my videos too, that your connection with yourself really comes first, definitely comes first, truly should come first. But I'm not going to sit here and give you that bullshit of like, oh, I'm so in love with myself that I don't need another human being. I'm not going to give you that bullshit. Because that's not, um, that's not, for me right now, that's not where I'm at. Of course I want a relationship. Of course I want to be with a beautiful woman that I really resonate with and I have a deep, beautiful connection with. But what I realized was that when we left the cafe, she went away in her car and I was sitting here in my van and a part of me really wanted to go back in to get a treat. I really wanted to go back in to get a treat because I tend to not go there often because sometimes it's hard for me to like hold back and uh, stick to my goals and my plans but I felt so good I felt so good after our time together that I was like you know what I know that that's not gonna be good for my body I know that sometimes when I have those things it's heavy on my body and my body doesn't do that well with it with those streets and I was at a point where like you know what? My body deserves better. My body deserves better. And that's not something that we can force. And I can't give you the seven steps to get to that place. And I can give you a magic formula that you'll do and get to that place. 
I think it was a combination of feeling that beautiful connection with another human being and also I was thinking having that goal of like okay I'm getting in the best shape of my life and that inspires me I like that I enjoy that it energizes me it makes me feel good and I love it and I'm also healing a lot of things which like I said I'll talk about in other videos it's a long topic but it was a combination of maybe having that goal so maybe if you want to, if that resonates with you, maybe think of a very deep goal for you. Once you think of a goal, think of why. Why do I want that? And when you get an answer, think why do I want that? And why and why and why? I keep asking why. And some people say, until you haven't cried, you didn't dig deep enough. You didn't go deep enough into that why. I don't know. I kind of resonate with that. I kind of resonate with that. You don't need to cry, of course. You'll know when you reach your true deep why. But I think having that goal and having the connection, find a tribe, find a group that you enjoy being with. And I know that's tough. I'm, I'm going to make more videos on that because I've struggled with that my entire life. And I still do. But find something that excites you. Find events near you things go to things that you're passionate about volunteer for things that you enjoy and you're passionate about or causes that really call to you that make you feel good that just light up your heart and just make you smile and make you feel really good about being a part of because at those kinds of things if you volunteer at that you're gonna meet beautiful people beautiful people that you resonate with and that connection I feel like now we're working at a, at a, at the level of like the cause, if you want to put it that way, at the level of like whatever is really going on instead of continuing to work on the surface. Of course, we need to keep doing the inner work for maybe unworthiness that we feel. I feel a lot of unworthiness sometimes. I feel like I'm not good enough. And there's many things that, of course, I'm going to continue to heal. But I feel like that the connection is huge. That aspect of a connection is huge when it comes to cravings. And maybe some, having some kind of goal beyond just the physical. Beyond just, I want to get a six-pack and I want to build more muscle. I want to be toned. I want to have a nice butt and legs or whatever. Ladies out there, which it's a beautiful goal. Of course it is. But maybe go a little deeper than just the physical. Go a little deeper than just I want to look good. Because when the road gets tough, when you're going through a lot of emotional things and you see those things that you tend to crave, a physical goal is not going to be good enough. If the cravings are strong enough, you're not going to be able. Trust me, I've been there 27,000 times. A physical goal is not strong enough. To help you get through those times. I really hope this helps. I'm going to make more videos on this. I'm very, very, very fascinated by the whole thing about cravings. And whatever is going on at a deeper level. So I truly hope this helps. If there's even one thing that resonates from this video. Please let me know in the comments below. So that I can make more videos about that. If there's any questions. Anything that I can help with. Please let me know in the comments. These are topics that we need to talk more about. People are really struggling with this. We, we, some of us, really struggle with this. We need to bring those conversations up to the surface to be talked about more out in the open so that we can be okay with whatever we don't like about ourselves. I hated the fact that I have such strong cravings for my entire life. There's still times that I do, but I'm luckily shifting that over time and it's a beautiful journey a beautiful process and if i can support you with that i would love to so please let me know okay <sighs> breathe 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 hope this helps hope you're having a beautiful day